Shay Failbloom, who he made the EEOC chairman, Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, who's a lesbian, to uh, Mitchell uh, Sampson. He gave a top position in the um, Commerce Department. Now he's known as Amanda Simpson, a transgender. Something's wrong with your president. <laughs> Something is sick and twisted in him, and he claims to be a Christian, United Church of Christ, but that's not a church of the day. That's a synagogue of Satan. So don't be caught up in anybody say, well, I'm going to church this Sunday, I go to this church. But every church is not God's church. God got a church, and Satan got a church too. True light is the church of God. And all these other churches, these Baptists and these Lutheran, Episcopalian churches, why would you be in a church that's uh, split? Half against Solomon, the other half for it. But those that's against it is too weak to stand up. But God don't need weak people in there. God don't need that. God needs strong soldiers to stand up. And I think God's the strongest soldier I've ever known. Prophet Bishop X. Walker truly is a blessing to know him and serve him and to serve him, amen. And you can put your confidence in him today. There's nothing wrong with his character. You can't put nothing on him unless you make up a lie, man. But we don't have to make up lies about Bishop Pope. We don't have to make up lies about T.D. Jakes. And let's bring this out in Proverbs 6 chapter. Because I want to teach you that God does hate. God hates sin. God hates sinners on the day. How, how can God love you but hate your sin? Sin ain't going to hell you. So don't be stupid, eh, man. Have half a brain sometimes. You got to learn how to think for yourself, YouTube audience. Proverbs 6 and 16. These six things the prophet Walker hate. God. Hell and hate. True light hate. No, so these six things does the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, T.D. Jakes, talk about David and Jonathan with sodomites and uh, Ruth and Naomi with lesbian. And you still haven't repented of that. And I don't care how big you think you are, you better repent and get on one of your private jets you got in Dallas and come on down and get on your knees and, and beg God for forgiveness and let Prophet Walker lay hands on you because you're out of bounds. There's certain things you can't say because you know you can't back that up. But what you're trying to do, you're trying to lower the character and the morale of the church. See, this is what people like T.D. Jakes ain't going to do. They want to say we're all sinners and we are the same and we all fall short to take down the morale of the church. Because church used to be the place where people go um, to get delivered from the world. But now the church has let everything in. The rap and the hip-hop, men marrying men and women marrying women in church. And no one seen me wants to take a stand. The true life is going to take a stand. We're not going to back down when it comes to our life, our job, our, our favor with people. And, and Mike Huckabee, uh, he ran for president. He got a TV show for me, this conservative politician, and uh, he may run again. Now, he used to be a pastor, I think in a Baptist or Methodist church, and he's supposed to give his big speech on family Zion tonight. I bet he won't mention Solomon one time. I bet he won't mention Prophet Walker Nag. I bet he won't mention how we went to Atlanta and took that devil Eddie Long down. I bet he won't mention about us going to Charlotte, our rally. He won't mention true life. And he won't even mention nothing about Sodomite. And all you conservatives out there, you claim you're going to do something nice, you're in power. You, you want to do something? End abortion. <laughs> Stop Sodomite marriage, amen. Uh, keep, y'all call them gays, they're not gays. Keep sissies. Keep faggots out of the military, amen. Keep leathers out of the military. In a time of trouble, where people are shooting and all this calamity, you think a sissy, he'll drop his gun and run in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> then what happened to your, your line and your unit and your core? And, a, and the army is all about integrity and all about God and about love and honor for country. Uh, love and song, I don't know nothing about love for country or love for God or honor or character or integrity. And they don't got no business in the United States military today. It's a disrespect to the prophet of God who uh, was honorably discharged, I believe, from the United States Air Force. And the problem of God is very much against it. They never would have thought about letting those sodomites into the Air Force. Where's all the big military brass? Where's uh, Barry McCaffrey? I see you on CNN all the time. Uh, Colin Powell, Norman Schwarzkopf. Why aren't these military brass, why aren't they standing up for family values? And I know all of them are against um, uh, homosexuals in the military. But stop being silent. You can't be silent when it comes to sin on the day. Because that's why the church is in so much trouble today. Everybody will look the other way. 
let true light. Well, we do, we will do our work, but we're gonna get the reward on that. You're not gonna ride our coattail to glory on that. Be like us, be with us in Charlotte and, and, and beyond on that. Be like true light. Come join in with the prophet of God. And I'm gonna go to uh, Matthew the seventh chapter because many people go to church every day and go straight to the lake of fire. And, and also, before I go there. Now, all you um, so-called African-American journalists, you want to try to make this sodomite. It, it's not about color. It's not about race or class. It's about character. It's about integrity. It's about holy. It's about profane. And you want to say because people may be a certain color, they're supposed to support sodomites. But I can't find that nowhere in the Bible. We don't go by color. We're all one in Christ Jesus under there. Whether we be black or white or polka dot or blue, or green, as long as he baptized water in Jesus' name, you my brother on the day. And Lowe is not my brother. T.D. Jakes is not my brother. Bishop Pope, he passed away, but if he was alive, he still wouldn't be my brother on the day. Why? Because they're not exhibiting Christian character on the day. You know, even, even false religions wouldn't even do the things you do. And you claim to be Christian. Even Eastern religions, even people worship trees and rocks. My goodness, when you look at another man and get sexually excited, you worse than they are today. But that's not a reflection of God or true life, it's a reflection of your demonic spirit today. Matthew, the seventh chapter, verse 18. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Now, we're not talking about you no know, tree on the day, it's talking about a soul. Every soul that doesn't live holy is cut down and cast into a lake of fire. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. There's no other thing you can judge a person by except their character for their life testimony. Not necessarily how much money they get in church and how they run around and shout and sing. It's about your character with God. That's why God said, I look at the reins of the heart. And God says, I know them that I mind. You can't fool Jesus. You can't get over on Jesus. Eddie Long and TDJ, you can get over and expose the foolish, stupid people who save their money and their time so you can live rich while they live poor. But you know what? Those are simple people. But you can't fool true life. We're not simple. We're not foolish in the day. We're too wise to fall for them old tricks of the devil. Not everyone to say unto me, Lord, Lord. Now this is scary because it's talking about Christian people. Folk who go to church every day. It's not talking about Muslims. Not talking about Buddhists, it's talking about people like uh, Joyce Meyer and Benny Hinn. They go to church every day. Not everyone said to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Where's the will? The will is the word of God. It's found in the Bible. And as Christians, you know there's certain things you can do in the house of the faith. You can't be no Solomon. You can't exploit the people for money. You can't be no pedophile. You can't be like Bishop Pope. But some people find this behavior uh, acceptable. But how can you? How can you support a sodomite, a child molester? And at his funeral, like I said, they try to say good things about you. But hold your place there and let's go to the book of Revelation. The, I believe that's Revelation, the 14th chapter. You can have all the accolades and trophies and all things for man, but it's your life testimony that reflects up the glory. 14 and 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, say of the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. Bishop Pope can't repent now. Well, one, he didn't repent when he's alive, because if he repented, he would not kept having sexual misconduct after sexual misconduct. But he's dead now. But you know what? His works are not dead because they fall up to heaven. So when God makes a decision whether or not you go to heaven or the lake of fire, all he has is your, I will put it, your, your resume if you're going for a job. The boss looks at it, he sees what you've done, he makes a decision. Would you be qualified to work for his company? So God looks at your spiritual resume and see whether or not you're qualified to go to heaven. And Bishop Pope, I wouldn't make any plans out of you. And any long, you better hope you don't die too soon without repenting, because I wouldn't make any plans going to heaven either. Why? Because you uh, abuse your power. You have not shown character. You haven't shown any integrity. You prove yourself.